Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. Um, as you can see, I've got a review here of the Karen Dice Graphwood uh, Graphite Pencils. Now, um, ordinarily, I don't normally talk about the pricing until the very end of the video, but I'm just going to mention it here and now. Um, the pricing, because I know the, the, the pricing is going to be a big talking point about these pencils, and I know that. But um, for a list of the pricing, I'm going to have that over in the Art Gear Guide, as I always do, because... There's no point in me mentioning prices here on the video because a year from now the video is going to change or the pricing is going to change and somebody's going to come up and leave a comment and say you know your pricing's way off. Whereas over in the Art Gear Guide, I can change the the pricing dead easily, um, much easier than I can do on a video. So uh, it's best just to leave um, specifics out about the pricing on a video and just put them over on my website. But I do, like like I say, I do know it's going to be a talking point. And the reason why I know it's going to be a talking point is because people, and I've read other reviews, when I go to do my reviews, um, I, I take a look at other reviews. I see what other people are saying about it. I, I read the comments. Uh, I see what people are commenting on um, the, the products. And I, but before I do any of that, I always contact the company and I talk to the company about the products as well. So I do an offer. I know it doesn't seem like it. Um, and some people might think, you know, for goodness sake, it's just a pencil. But I do an awful lot of research into the products before I actually uh, review them. Because the, the bottom line is, the reason why I'm doing this is so that you guys that are watching the videos, um, you, you come to the Art Gear Guide to go through a catalog of reviews and hopefully find the product that you have in your head that you want to go out and buy. And you want to see what that product, that what that review is like, and hopefully by now people know that when they come to the Art Gear Guide, that the, the reviews are incredibly in depth, and that I do my very very best to cover everything that can be covered with regards to information that you might need to know about the, the particular product. And one of the things I um, seen most was people saying things like, you know, my goodness, um, a graphite pencil is a graphite pencil. So does it really need to be as expensive as they are in comparison to your ordinary uh, run-of-the-mill HB pencil that you would pick up from a, a stationery store? And i got to admit, when I first purchased them, I, I thought along the same lines. But I had in the back of my head, I have so many Karen Dice products and I know that they are of the highest quality and so I reserved judgment until I got the pencils until I tested them and and all the rest of it and I have to say the price of them the, the, the price of them is expensive for a graphite pencil but if you are a graphite artist you will not mind in the slightest spending that money on these pencils. And I'll go through the reasons why in a second. Um, also, I do have uh, a speed drawing. Um, the links for that will be down below that I've done with these pencils. It was just an eye. It was nothing special. It was just an eye. Um, I did it. Um, but it, it shows you the different grades of the pencil, I, th I think, quite well. So anyway, let's get on with the, the actual characteristics of the pencil and stuff like that. So the first thing is, it's a really nice chunky pencil. I, I, I like nice weighted pencils. Um, the core is a, a 3.8 millimeter core and the, the barrel is a, an 8 millimeter barrel. Now it's made of like high quality cedar wood, which you, you would expect from Caran Dash. Um, as you can see here, okay, so... Uh, in this particular set here, in this 15 set, uh, sorry, in this 10, it, there's 15 pencils. And they grade from 4H, being the lightest, all the way up to 9B. And as you can see, as you can tell just looking at the pencils, okay, the barrels are coloured in accordance to the, the, the lightest, or in accordance to the lightness or darkness of the, the graphite grade. So as you can see here, the 9B pencil, the barrel is like a, a, a black. And if we go right down here to the 4H, uh, which is the lightest, you can see it's kind of like a, a, a white, uh, a white gray, a very, very light gray silver color. And so I think this is really unique. I haven't seen this in any other graphite pencils. Um, 
it gives you a visual representation. Whenever you are, uh, you've got a set of graphite pencils out, <clears throat> you're always looking at the end of them to see the, the grade of pencil that you're wanting to lift up. If you're doing like a, a, a big piece uh, and you need a, a vast range of, of uh, different grades in graphite, you're going to have to look at the end of the pencil to find out whether you're using a 5B, a 2B, or 3B, or whatever it is that you're looking for. With these pencils, you can do that a little bit quicker because you can see visually um, the, the spectrum of, of graphite grade that you're going to have in front of you. So I think that's a really unique, um, I, I like that a lot. I think it's a really excellent touch. Now, another thing that uh, a lot of people I think overlook with Karen Dice products, and that is their packaging. Their packaging is first class. Um, I think Apple was one of the first companies to come out with like, to really put an emphasis on their packaging. Uh, I I don't know because I wasn't really in the art whenever like Apple started bringing out their iPhones and stuff like that. So I don't know whether this has been something that Karen Dice have always done. But since I've been buying Karen Dice products, the, um, their packaging is first class. And there's and that is no difference with the the um the graph wood pencils. So they come in a couple of different types of sets. You can get like a wooden box set, which is absolutely beautiful. It's got other things in that as well. It's not just the pencils, there's uh um charcoal and willow and stuff like that in that set. I'll have a, a link for that down below as well if you want, want to go across and have a look at that. But this this tin. If you take that off, so you would, you would automatically think, okay, when you get pencils and they're in this type of tin, that they're going to knock about and they're going to shatter. But that's not the case. If you have a look here in the inside of the tin, the lid, sorry, um, you can see that there is like a soft foam protection. So the pencils, um, if you're like, if the tin is being knocked about, obviously if it's rolling and stuff like that, it's not going to do any damage to the pencils because they're rolling around. But if it's being tipped upside down or anything like that, they've got the pencils, the, the, the core of the pencil is going to hit this nice soft foam. But uh, they've got a foam pad right at the bottom of the tin as well. Now, I know you're not really going to be able to see that. But unfortunately, you've just got to take my word for it. There is a, a foam pad at the bottom of the tin. So the pencils are really well protected. Uh, which I think is a, a really great touch. You know, it's just those tiny little finer details that whenever you buy a Karen Dice product, you know that uh, all the bases are covered. You're getting a top quality product, but also it's going to be well protected, well looked after in the packaging that they're providing for you. So if we take a look at the pencil, and we have a look at the, the, the information on the barrel. So um, it has the... The pencil name because Karen Dash have another couple of ranges of pencils. I think the the Techno or something like that. I think the other one is it's a yellow barrel pencil. I I don't know what they're like. I haven't tested those yet. Um, but this is the Graphwood, and then down here it says uh, Karen Dash, obviously the company name, um, Swiss made. Which anybody that knows Karen Dash knows it's uh, uh, Swiss made. There is a number here as well, and that corresponds to the pencil open stock. So you can buy these pencils open stock if you want. If you didn't want to go out and buy the full set of 15 here from uh, 4 8 to 9B, you could just pick and choose the grades that you normally use. Uh, and then at the very end here, we have the grade of the pencil. So in this case here, 4 8 um, On the other side of the, the barrel, it, there is like a barcode there, and that's obviously for uh, open stock purposes as well. It is a hexagonal barrel, so uh, I know a lot of people really do like that idea of having a hexagonal pencil especially for graphite artists because a, a lot of graphite artists use drafting type boards um, now I will say this um, with it being a chunky pencil um, th there, there, you might find a few issues with certain sharpeners now I done a video not that long back of the five different sharpeners that I personally use and uh, I'll have a link uh, for that particular video down below in the description if you want to go across and have a look but the five sharpeners that I have that I use sharpened these pencils absolutely no problem at all it was a snug fit with um, most of them uh, for example okay so I have this this little uh, brass M&R sharpener okay it has two sizes uh, it's got this regular size and then it's got this bigger size. Now, I've not needed to use the bigger size with the, the Karen Dice Graphwood. But 
me see. You can see there when that goes in, it is a tight fit, but nevertheless, it still sharpens fine. I know some people have had issues with these pencils not uh, sharpening with particular sharp with certain sharpeners, but like I said, I tried this with all five sharpeners that I made in that video, and they worked fine. They sharpened really, really well. Um, the other sharpeners I used was the the M and R hand crank, the Super Point, uh, the the Coom, and there was another um, M and R type one as well. Uh, so so it does work. It, it sharpens well, but it might be a little bit of a tight fit. And it's just because it's a, you know, you're getting what you pay for here. You're getting a proper grade pencil. Um, and it, it, it's a well-made pencil. And there was no nicking or anything that got there of the wood when I was sharpening it. It was sharpening very, very well. Uh, and that's because the wood is a high-grade wood that they're using. So, um, just let me move this tin over to the side and these pencils. So, I've done kind of like a little swatch here. And I'll show you the artwork that I've done in a second as well. And I'll try and zoom in here for you as well. Okay, so as you can see here, um, at the top here we have the 4H, 3H, 2H, and you can see here, I mean, these, the thing about these pencils are they're really, really smooth. The graphite in it is really smooth. Sometimes you can get a graphite pencil and it's really scratchy. It gets at uh, the, the, you get like, it feels like grit almost. It's inside the graphite and it scratches your paper up and everything. In all of the pencils here in this particular set, I haven't found that at all. And you can actually see that there's no grit or anything they got because sometimes you can see scratching. But as you can see here, as I'm scrolling down here, um, so you've got 4H, 2H, 3H, 2H, H, HB, F, and then we go down to the darkers. Uh, you've got your B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6, 7, 8, and 9B. And there is a little bit of glint off there. There is a little bit of shine, but not, you know, it's not over dramatic or anything like that. Okay, so I've, I've put two grades down here as well. I've got a 4H, the lightest one, and the darkest, the, the 9B. And I'm just going to show you how, how well they are race. Um, I have this little uh, Tombow. So as you would expect, they're the... The lightest one erases very well. Then there's a little bit of smudge in there with the nine B. But if you're if you're working on with a nine B pencil, you've got no no business erasing it after that. There, if you're up to that level, if you're up to that darkness, you 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 pretty much uh, you pretty much need to know that you. Uh, that you need that darkness and you're not going to need to erase it after that i think um but you can see there in any case it does erase really well it's it's the the, the graphite is really top quality graphite so the the artwork that i done with the the pencils just let me move that over the side was this eye now you can see a little bit of shine there whenever i'm moving it about in the light but i do have like really bright lights overhead here um, and when I was doing this, I didn't notice it until halfway through the video uh, that the light was glaring off it. So you, you will see in the video that halfway through, I, I changed the lighting slightly so that the glare comes off it. But I couldn't notice it when I was actually visually looking at it myself. Uh, I could only see it in the camera. Um, anyway, guys, so for me personally, I would say if you're a graphite artist, if if you you enjoy working with graphite, if you enjoy doing that type of artwork, you will not mind in the slightest spending the little bit of extra money that these pencils are going to cost you because you're going to get a top quality product. Um, the artwork that you're going to be able to create with these is going to be excellent um, because of the grade and the quality of the graphite and stuff like that. But if you're not a graphite artist, if you're just you ordinarily use an HB pencil, uh, you know, by all means, go out and try a couple of them, open stock, see for yourself uh, the difference in the graphite in these pencils as opposed to perhaps the pencil that you're using. Um, 
But I personally think that they're well worth the money, providing you're going to put them to use. If you're going to buy a set of 15 graph wood pencils uh, and just leave them sitting on your desk, then it's going to be a waste of money. But if you're going to use them, then it's definitely going to be a, a worthy investment. Anyway, guys, I think that is it. Don't forget, I've done a speed drawing of that eye that I just showed you um, a second ago. The links for that will be down below. You'll be able to go across and see that. Uh, also, I have, like I said, the pricing and all the rest of it over on the Art Gear Guide. A few little bits and bobs that um, I put over there because I can change it when I need to, if anything changes about the product. So uh, you can go across and take a look over there as well if you want. And uh, as always, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Um, I'm always putting my artwork up on Instagram. And then I push things like this, this video and uh, written reviews and stuff like that out on Facebook and Twitter just to let people know that the, the reviews are up. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. I look forward to seeing you again the next time. And um, thanks very much. Bye.